morning. I want to talk to you really quick about a book that I read that helped me tremendously in my first and second marriage. A couple um, going forward um, for the next week or so, the videos that I will be um, producing will be videos about ways that you can enhance your marriage. Even though I'm not married, anybody that know me knows that my first love and my passion is marriage. <clears throat> I will be married again soon. I'm just, you know, sitting back on the sideline, waiting for my husband to find me. You know what I'm saying? Where you at, boy? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You know, I'm over here waiting. Now, if this video go off, you can finish it on LaShonda Cherie Flanders on YouTube. Okay? The first book that I want to talk to you about, and I'll be talking about it all next week, is Men Are Like Waffles and Women Are Like Spaghetti. And this is by Bill Farrell and Pam Farrell. Now, my first marriage, I started reading this book. I was doing one of my clients' hair because back in the day, I used to be a tree shade cosmetologist, honey. Any color that you wanted, you want to be pink, blue, whatever it is, baby, I could do it. And she began to share with me a couple books that she had read <clears throat> um, that helped her out in her marriage. So, I bought it and started reading it. And when I tell you, oh my God, this book just gave me so much clarity on how to understand how God made a man. And that made a, a tremendous difference when things were going to the left. I could kind of understand the way he was thinking, the way he was processing things. And um, if he would have paid attention and I, you know, maybe I would have told him I was doing this and reading this and try to include him. Maybe he could have understood me a little better, but hey, that's neither here nor there. So um, the synopsis of the book that we'll be talking about is men are like waffles, meaning that everything that they do they put it into a box. They compartmentalize things. Whereas women are like spaghetti. Everything that we do, it touches. Our conversation touches. Um, our um, Nothing breaks. Our conversation, we can cook, we can clean, we can talk on the phone, we can be a nurse. We can um, analyze things. Everything is with one noodle. Nothing, nothing is separate with us. But with a man, everything is compartmentalized in different boxes. And if there is something going on that he feel like he cannot fix because God created him to be the fixer, the uh, problem solver. If he feels like he cannot fix the problem, he puts it in a little box, like a waffle, and he moves it to a side. So a lot of times we thinking that they're being insensitive or they're being narcissistic. Some of them really are, but it's because they don't know how to handle the situation that they might have created or didn't create. Or, or whatever. If they don't know how to fix it, they'll just put it in a box because they don't know what to do with it. Okay? As as us, we are like spaghetti noodles. We're gonna keep keep it going. We're gonna keep it flowing. That's the difference between the man and the woman. Like I said, starting next week, I will be going over chapter one and chapter two. All the way through the book, and I promise you it's gonna be a blessing. It sounds so silly. It sounds silly, but baby, when I tell you, I would be walking around the house like, look at him over there putting stuff in the box. You know, you know, I know he putting everything in the box. Look at him. Mm -mm -mm. Don't know what to do, so he just put it in the box. I was able to understand, even in my second marriage, I was able to understand some of the processes. You know what I'm saying? Now, you do have some people that's just out of the box, and I'm not talking about those situations. I'm just talking about ex ex um, learning the makeup of a man and learning the makeup of a woman, the foundation part of it, it's going to be beneficial to you as you begin to move on and enhance your marriage. Because I always say to people, ain't nothing to me unfixable unless it's of abuse, you know, and that person doesn't want to seek help and that person trying to kill you. Other than that, to me, everything is workable, fixable. If you have two like-minded people. I've also learned that you have two kind of people. You have people that will bend and then you have people that will not bend. Now, when you're married to someone that does not want to bend, um, it's a book that I read that says it takes one to tangle. You have to start taking a different approach with those type of people that don't want to bend. But at the end of the day, you can still work it out. Why do you think that people have been married for 60, 50, 40, 30 years? Not because they have been perfect and not because everything has been peaches and cream. It's because they found ways to make it work. And so that's what we're going to do. As I'm preparing for Castle 
and over. Mm, as I'm preparing for, they to find me. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be working together and I'm going to teach you guys everything that I learned. And I hope it is a blessing to you. And I'll see y'all next week. Men are like waffles. Women are like spaghetti by Bill Farrell and Pam Farrell. Go ahead and get your book so we can begin on this quest and understand the man and the woman. Y'all have a blessed day.